Point action. You get what you pay for. <laughs> Alright, I think I got his bullshit figured out though. It's just a, it's just a really high bullet speed. I was I was bracing for the slower bullet speed. Finally, don't forget blame chat. Always hashtag blame chat. Biosimic can tell you from the very early days that is all true. I hope all this stuff clears out, right? Oh man, that's really bad because yeah, there's the, there is some RNG to the obstacles you have to deal with down on this level. Okay. All right, so here it's it's pretty easy. You just have to hit any part of the snoot. The problem is that these little balls of dudes are rather large. And you have to stay pretty close to the center, too. There we go, god damn it. <laughs> First try! Oh, that's right, I forgot to bury everything. That's fine. <laughs> okay, gotcha. No, killing me... Killing me is an in-channel achievement. You do have to, um... Deal enough damage to the heads. Yeah, because the the pink headed ones they don't they don't get their head back. Okay. The headless ones will still threaten you, but Oh wow! They could be way faster. Okay. Yeah, first tray. Oh man. They're so hard to see, those little gnomes. I cannot see those little gold nuggets at all. I wonder if I have the wrong graphic filter on or something. There's no way out of this. <laughs> nice. Alright, I need to figure out what's causing the platforms to disappear here. Cause...
I mean, first try, I wasn't even really worried about it. I don't know why you guys were so worried about it, but you look kind of silly now for being worried about it. <laughs> well, I thought I parried a thousand things there. Maybe not. <laughs> yeah, ducking seems to change his behavior. I'm not sure what the clue is meant to be for that. Did that all wrong? Okay. Oh, <laughs> the greed. He does not look happy. That is that is not a happy horse. Thank you for acknowledging that you have never once paid attention, Foximandius. I'll start being perfect when we get more cooks are delicious. If Dirk Monster beats Cook Serve Delicious, then my appetite will once again start to rise. Oh, hold on a second. We can just shoot that at an angle? Okay. Okay. I thought it was only horizontal. Popsicles keep like they keep tanking the hits. First try, zero damage taken. World market speed run. He's a game for babies. Super duper dead forever. Yeah, that feels really like. Most fights are way under two minutes. I wonder if I was missing out on damage somehow. You may have recovered. Yeah, so what Boxmanius is saying is. If you play the fantastic video game, as soon as the next phase starts. Mm. I don't 
Don't chase him, it usually goes badly. Distance is really long too, which is usually nice, but occasionally it's too long. I mean, first try. I don't know why you guys were worried. I got really lucky with the pattern there. A lot of nice accidental dodges. What a waste of good money. Connects, right? Okay, so no. Oh, I see. We can move through the stringy parts. This is absolutely disgusting. land the ultra wait all all sausages go to heaven i didn't know that <laughs> all right we're, we're definitely getting low grades here i feel like this is sort of the uh ego protecting system where they make you think the beep is above average but that's kind of like the lowest possible grade this is pretty doable. Wait, is he, is he like in love with the guillotine? All right, looks like as long as they get somewhere in the right direction, be fine. How can this country have this many corrupt nobles? I mean, I guess I guess I'd rather that they be guillotined than not guillotined. This is a good example of the difference between, like, 1920s cartoons and Disney. They weren't afraid to go full morbid. I guess we have to judge our, our safe openings very carefully here. Easy game for baby executioners.
Okay. Keeping the fire hydrants under control. Nice, nice. Chaser, definitely the right weapon here. Normally, I don't think much of it. Can I only hurt her? God, there's like nowhere to stand. Okay. Okay. Oh! First try through damage taken. World record speed run. Super duper dead forever. Easy game for babies. Minus even. Last row, got it. Now, do I want to boop the obstacles or do I want to? I wonder what happens if I boop them versus rolling through them. Oh, they, they just kind of fall over. Okay. All right, so I'm being really imprecise with the cannons, but I figure. Quantity over quality will eventually damage her. Is she wasting Fabergé eggs? This is actually a lot of eggs upon review. I mean, first stray, asterisk, see footnotes. Rolling. So the problem is, is I think the the rolling through the flame worked once, and much like a dog, it gave me a bad habit. Yeah, there's gonna be like five sugar cubes, and at least one of them has to be pink, right? Damn it! I cannot believe. It. I don't know why I'm like so forgetful that the ultra always costs me a hit. Let's try to do this part without an ultra. 
Because I don't have it. Let's... <laughs> You know, these platforms are fairly fast. We gotta... First try, zero damage taken. World record speedrun, he's giving your babies! It's a pretty pretty forever. <laughs> Thank you, BP. Thank you, Louie. Look at those bloomers. Now, I gotta wonder, I did this whole, I did this whole mission with the new character. Is it meant for her, or is it harder, or...? I guess it's meant for anyone. Mugman! I, maybe I was using all the wrong weapons. Thank goodness, you're okay! That dastardly salt baker, he had his hoodwink the whole time. Yeah, his, his good necromancy turned out to be evil necromancy, who could have guessed? Yeah, he's a little bit salty. <laughs> Dad, suits! The place is coming down! Let's get out of here! Eek! Yeah, let's make sure to evacuate this asshole. No, my bakery! Well, maybe you should switch to normal cookies and stop using evil occult soul cookies. Serves them right for duping us. But with the bakery destroyed, you'll never get- you're gonna have to get that wonder tart, Chalice. Well, we've seen what the wonder tart does. I think we can pass on the wonder tart. That's okay. If some poor soul has to be sacrificed for me to live again, it just ain't worth it. Wow! This is like the first, like, neutral good character we've run into. But mark my words, boys, I'm never gonna stop searching. Yeah, until she finally gets so fed up that she does actually become willing to sacrifice somebody else's soul. They're being really cavalier with the nature of the soul here, aren't they? And in the meantime, if you ever find yourselves in a scrape, I'm just one cookie bite away. Besides, who needs a wonder tart when they can have two new best pals instead? Okay, like... If you're a if you're a specter from beyond the grave, please don't touch us that closely. <laughs> Wink. Oh, so th so there is some law and order. It's not just people whipping out pistols at each other. Okay. I am Chef Thank you, VP. I, I need more ghost friends. Community service? Oh, I suppose we did. Okay, so all the other people on that island, we basically stole a precious ingredient from them with no justification. So, I guess none of them were really bad guys. I mean, they all seem kind of creepy, but... They weren't trying to cause anybody problems. Wow, he became a waiter in her saloon? Hey, he's learning a craft, though. And then, like, is this just a freelance air force? Are they part of- are those dogs actually in the military? So everyone still kind of becomes friends again. I guess in the main game ending, everyone is sort of friends, minus the devil. 
the devil just gets exiled back to hell or something. <laughs> How many molden hours are there in the world? Yeah, it's they're like they're like starfish. If you cleave off a limb, they just grow a new one. Our sincerest appreciation to the members of our team whose loyalty and creative endeavor made possible this production. Chad and Jared. I mean, are they are they US or Canadian? I forget. But Chad and Jared, that is like in my area in the upper Midwest, that is like pick out two random males and they're probably gonna be Chad and Jared. Is this Vox on vocals? <laughs> uh, I think a lot of big cities still have pretty big fan clubs for this type of music. Swing jazz and everything in between. Hey, Dangle's right. There's Spanish and then there's Latin American Spanish. Real instruments and everything. I'm not that surprised. It's just the technology for synthesizing instruments is pretty good right now, so it's impressive to see people doing it. Yeah, it does for sure. Not that Vox is surprised, because he's already watched these credits a hundred times from all the times he's beaten Cuphead. <sighs> and it is gonna... The, it's very effective how they're able to, like, sweep away all the salt instantly. Like, I got pretty upset during my devil fight in the main game, too. It's like, this game is stupid. I hate this game. It's so stupid. Why would anybody play this? It's a terrible game. And then you beat the double and you're like, wow, this is the best game ever. Everything is perfectly tuned and balanced. <laughs> it was pacifist. Um, you joke. You jest. Uh, there was an achievement that I had to get for um, not the bosses, but the uh, side scroll levels. Uh, you do have to complete each of those without killing a monster to get the pacifist achievement. Uh, which sounds ter terrible, but they're kind of built for that to be possible. Production babies! See, that's this is where your molten hours come from. You start developing a game, and then babies just start popping out everywhere, out of the pipes. Nobody knows where they come from. I've played some games, too, where there's, like, a, a suspiciously long list of production babies. Like, a studio of four people, and there's, like, ten production babies, and, like, damn. <laughs> the project director sits you down and is like, If you accept this position, there will be mandatory pooping. I hope you are okay with these terms and conditions. 